This video is brought to you by Dora and the Lost City of Gold. See you in theaters August 9th. You guys, look at this pizza. <laughs> what is this shiny splendor, you might ask? Um, just this little thing called edible gold leaf. Apparently, this gold leaf is pure enough that it's biologically inert, which means you can safely eat it. Great job, science. I'm Ada, and I have a side business where I make cool pizzas. And this is the first pizza ever that I'm shipping internationally. So I guess today is just fancy in general. Oh, that's my customer, Maximiliano. He's a toucan. Have you seen a toucan before? They're pretty fancy. Hi, Max. Ada, you know I don't respond to Max. Right. Hi, Maximiliano. Listen, darling, I'm so excited about the pizza. Did you remember to put fruit on it? My fellow toucans will beak out if there's no fruit. Yes, Maximiliano. There are oranges and... Fun fact! How many birds can eat one orange? Wait, let me guess. Toucan! Get it? Two can? Because <laughs> I'm a toucan? I get it. <laughs> So, I'm trying to find the perfect serving platter to fit the pizza, and I need to know how big a round it is. Can you tell me? Oh, sure. You want to know the circumference? The stircum, for instance? No, the circumference. Let's back up. I was actually just about to measure your pizza so I could figure out what size box I need to put it in to send it to you. So, I'll talk you through it, Max. Maximiliano. Right, sorry. Maximiliano. Let's start with the distance from the center of the circle to one side. That's called the radius. And the distance across the circle from one side through the center to the other side is called the diameter. The diameter is twice as long as the radius. Are you getting to the part about Sir Plum's lint plans? The circumference? Yes. To find the circumference, which is the distance around the circle, you multiply the diameter by pi. Pi? I thought we were talking about pizza. I'm talking about a very special number called pi. Pi is such a special number that it gets its own name, which is the Greek letter pi. What's so special about it? Well, it lets us use a circle's diameter to figure out its circumference. That sounds like a handy number to know. What number is it? Is it four? Is it 10? <laughs> no. Pi is a really long decimal. 3.14159, and it keeps going on infinitely. You mean it goes on forever? Like the Amazon River? Even longer than that. We can never write pi down all at once. So for now, let's call it 3.14. What about the size of my pizza stand? Ah, well. Here's how we'll figure out its circumference. When we take the diameter of the pizza, we can put it around the outside. One, two, three times with a little bit left over. And that little bit left over is about 0.14. So the diameter goes around the circle 3.14 or pi times. Whoa. This pizza is really special. Well, it works for any circle. Like this one, this one. Oh, the top of a bowl or... The distance around the trunk of a tree? Yes, or even the equator. So going back to your question, there's a couple of ways we can figure out the... For once clearance? The circumference. I've already measured and found out that the diameter is 10 inches. So we can count it out. 10, 20, 30, and a little bit more. So we know that the circumference is a little bit bigger than 30 inches. Or if you want to get more specific, we can just multiply 10 by pi or 3.14 which gives us a circumference of 31.4 inches. So your pizza stand should be about 31.4 inches around. Cool. Oh, sorry to chat and fly, but I just spotted a band of capybaras down below. Oh, 
And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's the world's largest rodents. I'll email you. Takeaways from today. One, Maximilianos don't like to be called Max. Two, the circumference of a circle is just the diameter times pi. Three, capybaras sound cool. Ada, if someone is here to take a pizza to Peru. I gotta go. That's my mom. She's a robot. I'll explain later. Share what's in your backpack for a chance to win one of 25 prize packs from the film Dora and the Lost City of Gold in theaters August 9th. Dora, this is high school. It's life or death. If I don't talk to you, don't take it personal. Uh, excuse me. On August 9th. We're on to something big. An ancient city made of gold. We're going to break some rules. Oh, my God.